Well, we just got word not too long ago that the body found yesterday is that of 45-year-old Lee Swanson. Police say she died of a gunshot wound. Swanson was last seen on November 16th when she went out on a date with a man she met online. Now, when police went to that man's house to investigate, they found a 28-year-old suicide victim. Now, police are left to investigate whether the suicide victim could be Swanson's killer. Now, you would think that water's this high bill would be troubling, but residents here in Vassar tell me this is nothing. They remember a time when you couldn't drive your car down Main Street. You actually needed a boat. Bill, prosecutors are calling this the worst case of child abuse they've ever seen in the county, which is why they're using Dominic's law to prosecute Eric Macklin. He's the man accused of fracturing a two-year-old skull. Luckily, the fire did not spread to nearby apartment buildings, but residents in those buildings tell me that the smoke was heavy enough that it woke them up when they were fast asleep. It all began in February of this year when members of the Genesee County Hazmat team responded to a call at the Burton Ice Rink. That's when state officials began an investigation. They found that members of the Hazmat team did not have proper fitness tests or physical evaluations. Now, officials are working hard to get those team members back on the streets. Residents here in Midland are just concerned with cleaning up. I want you to take a look behind me. This is actually a park. Hard to believe, but the Titabawasi River is spilling over and it's not expected to stop until later tonight. That's when the National Weather Service says it's expected to crest around just over 27 feet. It's causing local roadways to shut down like Main Street and Sugnet. And local residents, meanwhile, just want spring showers to come to an end. Well, violence is a growing and very present problem in Flint, but one woman hopes that this book could make all the difference. It sends a message of nonviolence, and the author even shares from personal experience. Listen, you like the Twinkie, right? You've yes, already established this. Absolutely. Good news for you today and all fans <laughs> of the Twinkie. The sugary snack created by Hostess could be back on shelves as early as this summer. The company went through bankruptcy last year. All brands were pulled from store shelves in November, but now two investment companies are the new owners of the Twinkie, placing a $410 million bid for the brand. Thanks so much, Josh. Now we have some breaking news tonight. Saginaw police have released the name of a man killed in a shooting yesterday near a community center. Police say 27-year-old Jovan Kimball was found shot to death around 2 p.m. in the parking lot. Saginaw police are investigating two suspicious deaths on the city's east side. NBC 25's Walter Smith-Randolph joins us live from the scene with more. Walter. 